guys know what video this is going to be today. Today is going to be the iconic unboxing of the brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Lust Artistry Palette. Holy shit! What I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into two separate videos. Today's video is going to be just the unboxing and doing some swatches. And the very next video I am going to actually be applying some of these eyeshadows onto my eyeballs, which is why I look the way I do right now. I only have my base on. The only thing I do not have done is my eyes. And that is because we are going to be doing that in the next video. Don't worry, I won't make you guys wait several days before you see the makeup look. I will upload the makeup look that I come up with soon after the unboxing. But just I get very excited when it comes to Jeffree Star products and I just like to make them as dramatic as possible, so that's why we are doing the unboxing first and the makeup look second. I'm very, very excited. So if you guys wanna see the unboxing and my first real raw reactions to the inside of the Bloodlust Artistry Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, then keep on watching. As you guys know, recently Jeffree Star Cosmetics has been having a lot of issues with their shipping recently. Like people would make an order and they wouldn't hear anything for like two weeks and then one day it would just show up at their door without them knowing. Like it's just, it's been very frustrating and he recently said, I believe it was on Snapchat or Instagram stories, that he was going to be hiring more people and he was going to be working harder on getting things out faster and keeping people more aware of where their products are because usually like the last few times I've ordered from Jeffree Star Cosmetics it was like I would order I would get the confirmation number and then I wouldn't hear anything until it showed up at my door it was the, it was the strangest thing but he kept his word because when I ordered the Bloodlust palette, I received a confirmation email right away like I always do. And literally maybe four days later, I received a shipping confirmation. And a week from the Friday that I ordered it, I received it the very next Friday. I have not had a fast experience like that with Jeffree Star since like 2016. So it did come within a reasonable time manner, especially for a new launch. Now there is there was a lot of talk about this palette as well when he did his reveal video because a lot of people, you know, they saw the outer packaging, they saw the packaging and they were like, "Wow, this palette is going to fucking shake the world." And when he did his reveal video, a lot of people were kind of disappointed in the colors. I also saw some people say that the colors are actually better looking in person than they are on pictures and in videos, and I thought, you know, I'm brutally honest, I don't give a fuck. I will tell you if that is true or not. So let's stop blabbering, let's stop talking shit, and let's get to opening this. So when you receive the palette, it comes in this little cardboard box right here, in another box as well, not just this. But when you open up the box, it comes in this little outer cardboard box packaging right here. It just says Bloodlust. The attention to detail on just the outer box of this palette is pretty damn impressive and the palette looks huge like this is this is pretty big now when you turn it over on the back it just has all of the logistics type information like ingredients you know social media things like that so i was really excited when i saw the outer packaging of this palette i was like fuck yes this is going to be great but i have not opened it and i have not looked at the actual palette so let's fucking go Okay, so I am going to just hold the palette like this and let's go ahead and open her up. Okay guys, when you open up the cardboard part of the packaging, here is the actual palette. Oh my god. This is so soft, holy shit. The thing that I did really like about this palette specifically is, is how in this packaging he kind of put this outer border here to kind of protect it more. Um, I did have some bubble wrap in the box, but not, not an overwhelming amount, if you know what I mean. And then on the bottom here, it just says Bloodlust. So let's go ahead and take the palette out of the packaging. So when you take it out of the actual packaging here, it's like stuck, hang on, hang on. So here's what the palette looks like when you take it out of the packaging. This is so unreal to me. It is so fucking soft. What I think of when I feel this palette is I, I want to conceive my first child. 
on this fabric. It is so luxurious looking and it is so luxurious feeling. Now if you are one of those people who don't like the feeling of velvet, then this palette is probably going to be your worst nightmare. <laughs> Jack, come here. Avril. So here's an up close view of the packaging. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera how soft it is. And then right in the center, we have the harder Jeffree Star Bloodlust logo. That is super cool. I like how he put the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo inside of a crown. I just think that is very elegant looking. It is in this hexagon type shape, which I also think is really cool. And then on the back of the palette, it has that same material. It's kind of cool looking because the way it looks almost looks like marble cake in a way, but it's soft as velvet. I don't know, it's very cool. And then on the back, it just has Jeffree Star Cosmetics with his uh, social media and the kind of palette this is. And this also feels really cool. like. The actual writing in the logo isn't velvet, it just has a really nice, like, hard feel to it, if that makes any sense. Also, on launch day, I ended up getting two Bloodlust palettes because I ended up getting my sister one. She was kind enough for Christmas to get me, um, as part of, like, my Christmas gift, she got me the Halloween Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mystery Box, and this was kind of, like, my way of thanking her is getting her a new palette. One complaint so far about the palette is how am I going to store this because it is a very awkward shape and it does have this little opening and closing mechanism on the bottom here. It's just like this little gold ball. So you can't really like sit the palette up anywhere, but I might have to either lay it down or balance it on its side like this, which I guess wouldn't look too bad. Okay, so that was the outer packaging review. So far really happy with it. I can't stop petting it. I'm sorry if you are I'm sorry if any of you are grossed out by this, but it is just like so damn soft, I can't get over it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the Bloodlust palette. Dun, 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 dun. Ta -da! Okay, so it does come with this little over top packaging thing, and then it does come with a protector over the mirror. Peel this off together. Oh. Okay, so here is what the inside of the palette looks like. As you can see, it is really, really pretty. And my first impressions looking at it on the inside is, it's, it is it is very underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, because when you first see the outside of the packaging, you're like, holy shit, there's gonna be some bomb ass, deep ass royal purple colors. And then when you open it up, it's just like, you know, she's cute, she's cute, but she's not like, wow. I wasn't that impressed with it. And then when I watched his reveal video, the one shade that sold me on this whole entire palette is this one over here in the corner. It is a black kind of sparkly shade, and this is in the shade Executioner. Also another thing that I do want to add is as I'm touching the inside of the palette, this also has a very unique feeling to it. It's not just like plastic, it has a very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just like a very soft feeling to it. It's not velvet, but it's very soft. I'm gonna scratch. Does that make any sense to you guys? Does that help? What kind of packaging that is? The colors are really pretty. It's very... It's a very pastel moment. It's not anything groundbreaking. It's not like as shocking as Blue Blood was or as shocking as Blood Sugar was. Honestly, I think the main reason why I got this palette is because I am a huge Jeffree Star fan. I'm a huge Jeffree Star Cosmetics fan. I collect his palettes. I love his palettes. And the packaging of this one is honestly what sold me and that one black sparkly executioner shade. But other than that, the rest of this palette is just kind of like... I am already seeing a look that I want to create with this, so that I guess is also a good sign because if I were to open this and be like, wow, I don't even know what I want to use today, that would be kind of concerning to me. But I already am seeing 
a look that I want to create. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I am going to swatch a couple of these on my arm and then I'm probably just going to end the video there and then I will get started on the makeup look in another video. So I think the very first shade that I wanna go in with is Executioner, which is this black sparkly shade. Again, these shadows are very soft, just like all the rest of his shadows are. Here's what Executioner looks like swatched on the finger. It is a very pretty shade and it also has a really pretty like purple shift to it, which I really, really like. And I don't really, I mean, I have room on this arm, but I swatched on this finger. Oops. I'm just going to swatch it on the back of my hand. Wow. Holy shit, that went on for days, and I, it just keeps going. Whoa, dude, holy shit, hi, pigment. Here's what Executioner looks like swatched on the hand. Really, really pretty color. I cannot wait to use that. It also looks like it has, like, specks of purple and glow, gold glitter, so it has a really nice, like, shift to it. It's it's a really pretty unique color, definitely something that I don't already have. The next shade that I want to go in with, this is really hard to do. I don't know how the fuck beauty gurus swatch shit and like do this. Ugh, okay, hang on, I'm trying to. So the next shade that I want to go in with is this really pretty green shade right here, and this is called Sworn Enemy. Butter. And when I took it on my finger, it's not what I expected at all because in the pan, it looks like a very deep shimmery green. But when you swatch it, it's almost like a gold yellow green. It's very, very interesting. But I mean, it's still really pretty. I do really, really like that. And I'm just going to swatch that right here. Okay, that is gorgeous. The formula honestly feels... A little bit different than his other shadows. I can't remember if he said that he switched up the formula for this palette or not, but the formula definitely does feel different. The next shade that I want to go in with is this red shade right next to Executioner, and this one is called Bleeding Heart. I was also very excited about this color because if you guys watched my Conspiracy Palette video, the very first video I did, I was very excited about the Hot Cheeto shade and that one really, really disappointed me. So hopefully Bleeding Heart is better. I do know that red shades can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to work with. I do understand that, but hopefully this one just exceeds my expectations. Here's what it looks like when you swatch it on the finger. It almost kind of looks like an orangey red. I'm just going to swatch that right there. Wow, I don't even know. Like, this formula is so different, I feel. That is such a pretty shade. Oh my god. I absolutely love it. Now, I feel like this one would definitely be one of those shades where it would stain your eyes for sure. The next shade that I want to quickly go in and swatch is this one right here. I just want to see how pigmented it is, how it swatches, and this one is in the shade Scandal Water. All right, so there is what Scandal Water looks like swatched on the finger. It looks like a really nice periwinkle color, and if you guys want to know like a fun little fact about me, one of my secret favorite colors that I love is periwinkle. I don't think I've ever said that on my YouTube channel before, but I love periwinkle. And the reason for that is because when I was 10 years old, I got my very first cell phone. And I will never forget it. It was a it was a flip phone and it was one of those cell phones where like minutes were free after nine and every time you sent or received a text message, it cost like 10 cents and you couldn't talk on the phone till after nine. Like it was like an old school like flip phone. and. I will never forget it and I thought I was just the coolest piece of shit because on the phone it had like replaceable clip on and off front and back pieces and I'll never forget I had a really dark like navy blue purple one and the other one that I had that I absolutely loved and had on all the time was a pretty like clip on periwinkle front and back. I fucking loved that phone case so much and unfortunately the phone got stolen because when we went to Michigan's Adventure one summer, someone broke into my dad's car and stole my cell phone and honestly I wasn't even that heartbroken about the phone but I was heartbroken that the fact that that really cute clip on and off periwinkle case got taken. I'm still bitter about it. I do really like this color because this color honestly kind of reminds me of that. So it's kind of like, ooh, nostalgia. All right, and then I'm just going to swatch that one right here. 
Okay, so this one looks like it is going to take a little bit of finessing, which that is the case with most uh, pastel-y type shades. So those are all of the colors that I really wanted to swatch for this video. Those are the four that really kind of caught my eye and I just really wanted to touch. So I am going to go wash my hands off. I am going to get ready to sit down and play with some of these eyeshadows. Overall, just based off raw, real first impressions, just looking at the palette, swatching the shades, I'm gonna give it about three and a half out of five stars because one, I haven't used it on the eyes yet. I haven't had the chance to actually sit down and play with it. And the other reason is there really is a color in here that just like knocks me off my fucking seat which you know for example in the jawbreaker palette the color that really knocks me off my ass was this one right here orange juice fucking love that shade just isn't anything in here that is like super like wow you know what I mean you know you see the outer packaging and you think oh like this is gonna be like a really deep royal like queen moment am I right and you open it and it's kind of like you know spring is sprung there's nothing wrong with that that's totally fine if that's the vibe that Jeff he was going for. I totally respect that. One thing I am confused about is I really want to know why he went with velvet packaging. Did he do it because velvet feels expensive and luxurious? I remember when he did a review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes and those kind of have like a velvet soft outer packaging. He complained, I could be wrong, do not quote me on this, but I believe he said he didn't like the packaging because it could get dirty easily. I'm wondering what changed his mind to go with a velvet palette. All right guys, so that is my real raw first impressions looking at the brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Lust Artistry Palette. Sound off in the comments below. What did you think of this palette? What did you think of the colors? What did you think of the packaging? Have you used them on the eyes yet? If so, how did they perform for you? Did you like them, not like them? Sound off in the comments below and make sure you stay tuned for my very next video using this bad lad. If you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed my little review unboxing for impressions make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing I just want to assure you which you could probably tell from this video that I am NOT a beauty guru at all so if you are interested in videos other than beauty make sure you go down and subscribe I do upload every three to four days on this channel I love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with hopefully fingers crossed a bomb ass bloodlust look I love you guys Bye!